Good day everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to model a drinking glass. This is a complete model here. I'm going to show you a advanced technique today to produce decorative paint on your objects. These objects has a cut here that was produced using a style tool to create a unique shape. It's, it's got a sort of a no pattern but to create a um, a round end on the corner requires a custom shape and similarly on the bottom here um, to create unique decorative patterns you will need to use the style tool combined with your parametric tools to create these shapes so this is really useful if you want to model a model um, if you want to model a bottle or any object with decorative pans that's repeating I'm gonna show you some rendering as well so. So here's a few rendering results. I've used HDRI renderings to create realistic photo real renders. As you can see here, these um, these was rendered with the the model that I have, and it turned out really well. So the glass material in Crow is really nice. This one is unbelievable. It looks like the one, the glass I have in real life. But yep, yeah, that's that's what we're doing today. Let's get started. So I'll make a new file. And first thing, make sure check your units. Make sure it's in millimeters or inches, whichever you like. Okay, so we get started with we'll create an extrude. Actually, I'll start with a sketch to keep it simple. And create a diameter of 76. And extrude. Extrude 95. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, when we're working with individual um, decorative cuts on 3D shapes, you got to work with quilt. Um, some of the tools doesn't really work with a um, 3D object, so we've got to work with um, surfaces. So make sure we turn on that. So these two here, they only work with surfaces. So, so when we extrude, we'll keep it as a surface level. So the next step, what we're going to do is turn on front view. We'll start to use the helical sweep to create a a um a reference shape. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I'll define, I'll just define the length for the GNO pattern. So I'll draw a line up and it is 18 from the bottom and 28 up. And I'll just give this 30. I'll accept that and select the axis of revolution and then we can go ahead and create the profile so draw your, draw your profile, I'll make this free and Make a dimension from there to there is four, and I'll make that eight point one. 
8.2 except that now I'm gonna go in reference and switch to normal to traje trajectory and I'll create a surface as well instead of solid I'll just create a surface and what else I'll put in um the pitch yeah um I worked out the pitch to be 223.9999 um yeah I need if you need to do your one you just need to work out the calculation for that using Pythagoras but yeah so we'll create a cut there and this is going to re be repeated 16 times across and now we're gonna start working with the style tool um, the helical sweep it doesn't really create a join it doesn't really allow us to modify the shape too much um, we're going to use another way to create a point to end at the end and to do that we're going to use the style tool here and we just need to draw the curves for that so I'll go ahead and start drawing curves on surface if you press this button you can draw curves on the surface and I'm going to draw a curve here connecting to that then so it's the interde intersecting curve on that side I'll press the middle mouse button to accept that curve and I'll create another curve on this side just move up and down until there is a line that um, that is looks like an intersection line between the two surfaces so draw something like that um, it's a good idea to draw onto the cylinder cylinder surface as well so I'm just gonna redo that draw that there and okay it looks like it's cutting off here so that's no good um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna redo the helical sweep on this face so it's not cutting off there so that, that's a problem there so I'll restart that one okay cancel out that and I'll just redo this helical sweep on the front surface okay so I recreated the helical sweep here and we go up to using the style tool and use the curve to draw on the surface and we draw on this surface okay it looks like let's turn it this way and try and keep the point close to the end okay let's draw the first curve press the middle mouse button to start a new one and draw onto there okay let's try put it here and then go edit move it to there okay it looks like yep it's following the line fine so we'll make two curves there we we'll accept that now we're going to create a curve on the inside so let's go to curve again and draw a curve on the inside make it hit hold shift to snap onto the corners and we created our guidelines and just one more thing we create a curve to um, from there to there I should apply a color to that so you can see better but but what I did there was I 
Let me just give that another color so it's easier to see. So we accept the style tool. I'll get rendering. I'll pick a red color. And turn on quilt. Select that. Click OK. And let's go to the style tool, edit definition. And let's have a look at this line. This line needs to go all the way to the edge. It didn't wasn't on the edge. That was the problem. So we accept that. Now we recreated this curve that touches there to there. And that will give us a a um guideline to draw the curves for the one of the cut. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll make a new curve and start from the middle. Switch to front view. It's always good to switch to front view. And now I'm gonna just draw the line. It should be tangent to to the surface. And what I'm gonna do is create Hold shift to snap on to the line. So there's two here, two here, and connects to the end, which is the middle. Now one more thing about very important thing about drawing curve is we gotta avoid having the curve concaving up, down, up, down. It the surface result just doesn't really turn out well so what we're going to do is we got a I'm going to move this curve in so it creates one concave up so um, I'm just going to hold shift and make a snap to the surface and drag it in slightly and it will create the curve is just it will have one concave one way that's just a lot better when you dealing with surface it could get complicated so um, I'm just gonna fix up drag these points forward so there's more curvature at the end and yep that looks fine finish adding that curve there and I'll create one more on the bottom so this snaps to the end there's one there one more so snap on the line first. Yeah, it's really important that when you draw a curve, it could get really messy. You gotta you need to draw curves really carefully in 3D packages. Okay, let's check these. So this one should be up here. This one should be up here. And I'm gonna move these in so it doesn't concave too many ways. So I try and match the curve the pair of curve together. And I'm gonna move this in, hold shift to bring it out and then bring it in and it should be better. And now we have these two curves that can be used to trim the surface. And we're gonna also do one more curve, which is underneath. So hold shift, snap to the end and I'm just gonna draw a line straight across yeah, I've been trying to model this for a while. You just really, it's really important to keep the curve really simple. So I'll just draw a straight line down, that seemed to work well. And I'll, I accepted that. Now I'm going to create a surface from the curve that I created. So if I select these two curves and click surface, it creates a surface and you can edit the tangency here. I'm going to make that position except 
and I'm going to also make another surface here from the two curves so you can make a surface from two curves by just selecting them if they're joining at the two ends and make sure they are on position so the surface doesn't blend now go ahead and save that that's what we needed so if I go in and hide, hide the, this um, and I'll go ahead and trim. I'll show you what I, we <laughs> what we did so far. Looks really messy, but when we go to trim and select, hold shift to select two curves and point the arrow outside so we can keep the outside surface. And when we trim, it let the um, the result is our cut. So there you go, um, I'm going to break this video up into another part, it's taking a lot of time but um, what this tutorial was about is using the style tool to create custom cuts if you, if you need to make unique cut on your, uh, on your hard surface you, you really need to use the style tool to do that and I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this pan to, to, to show you that um, it can be made as a pan. So turn on pan tool, turn on axis, and I'm going to create a 16 pattern with a angle of 22.5 and I'll create This will create a pan across and I'm going to show you what happens next in the next video but yeah that that's uh, that this video is about the technique in combining style tool and parametric modeling techniques to create really um, complicated cuts in your in your um, 3D, 3D object or 3D products. Um, check the next video to see the next part.